Billy Piper has slammed agents for subjecting their clients to sanction pimping in light of the sexual harassment scandal in Hollywood. Speaking about the abuse of power in the showbiz industry, the actress, 35, said the behavior of agents who knew full well what's going on was really sickening. The mother of two also referred to her struggle with what she describes as the over-sexualized years as, explaining how for a long time she wanted to hide her body in baggy clothing following the end of her pop career. She said she has reservations about the whole sisterhood thing online. Arguing that the over-sexed images posted by women on social media doesn't feel like feminism to her. Speaking to the Sunday Times Style magazine about the Me Too movement, Billy said, I find the abuse of power really upsetting, but if I'm honest, what I find really sickening is all the agents subjecting their clients to it, knowing full well what's going on. Like sanctioned pimping. The former pop star, who struggled with an eating disorder aged 16, also described how she struggled following the over-sexualized years of her pop career. I think that's why, for so long, my desire to hide my body in baggy clothes took hold, she explained. During the interview, Billy revealed that she had her doubts about the whole sisterhood thing on social media. She commented, a lot of social media is about women looking really over sex. That doesn't feel like feminism to me. The actress broke into the showbiz industry when she was just a teenager, signing her first recording contract at the age of just 15. She famously married Chris Evans in secret when aged 18 back in 2001, with the 16-year age gap between the pair sparking controversy. The couple divorced three years later in 2004, with Billy later marrying actor Lawrence Fox, with whom she shares sons Winston and Eugene. Billy and Lawrence announced they were separating in 2016, following seven years of marriage. The actress is set to appear in new BBC drama Collateral, alongside Carrie Mulligan and John Sim, later this month.